Hi everyone, my name is Rahman Oftui. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of our best and unique plugins called the Scale Player and show you what it does and how it works. The Scale Player is a MIDI processor plugin, so it doesn't produce any sounds by itself. Instead, it processes the MIDI messages it receives and sends out the result that can be used to play other instruments. In regular keyboard instruments, each key is assigned to a specific note. So in order to play a certain note, we need to press the key that's been assigned to. In Escape Player, things are a little bit different. The plugin uses relative notes, which means each key can play different notes depending on the previous note and the selected scale. Let's turn the controller into a new kind of instrument that can be played in a new and exciting way. There are 16 playing keys. What these keys do and where they are placed on the controller are customizable and this is one of the reasons that makes the plugin more flexible. For each playing key there are two menus, the mapping menu and the action menu. First menu determines where the key is placed on the controller and includes a list of meter notes. The second menu determines what the key does and includes some static and some dynamic or relative options. Home is one of the static options, which means each key with home action always plays the home note regardless of what the previous note was. By default home is the root of the scale, but it can also be changed and set to be any of the other notes on the scale. This is useful especially if you want to follow a chord progression or play another mode based on the current scale. For example, we can play the Dorian on C major by setting home to be the second note of this scale. We call this note home because while playing it acts like a guide or an anchor and helps to find and maneuver around a specific note. On the action menu there are a set of options with positive and negative numbers. These represent notes with relative values, which means the actual note will be calculated later based on the previous note and the selected scale. For these options, the number determines the step size and the sign determines the direction. For example, if the scale was set to C major and the last note was C5, a plus one key will move one step forward or up the scale and play the next note which is D5. Now pressing plus one again will play the next note which is E5. The same goes for actions with negative numbers. For example, in C major with the last note being C5, Minus 2 will move two steps backwards or down the scale and play the note A4. There are several control keys that can be set and used to improve the performance. These keys provide an easy access to control and change the scale, octave, root and home parameters using MIDI notes on the controller. On the interface there are two virtual MIDI keyboards. First one helps visualize the input keys. It displays their mapping and their status while playing. It also gives the option to play them by mouse. Second keyboard helps visualizing the output and shows what notes are being played. It also highlights the notes for current scale and displays last notes position on the keyboard. One of the great things about the scale player is the ability to edit the scales or add new ones. To create a custom scale, you just need to enter the name, the number of notes on the scale and the set of intervals. Let's see how we can set up a scale player inside the first studio and get it ready to work. First we need to add the plugin as an instrument channel. Next we can add the target instrument. And finally we need to set the MIDI routing so the plugin can connect the target instrument using MIDI channels. And now we can find the playing keys on the controller and start playing. There are similar ways to set the MIDI routing inside other hosts. For Logic Pro, which supports audio unit MIDI processor type, we only need to add the plugin as a MIDI effect to the target instrument. That's it for this video. Hopefully, by now you have an idea on what the Skype player does and how it works. If you have any questions, please contact us at rafmusic.net. Thanks for watching.